Welcome everybody. Welcome to another edition of Red Mind by Apex Solutions. Today we're going to learn the basics of creating a project, adding team members, a little bit of the wiki, creating a task, and the Gantt chart, and the way to log time. So this is going to be a basic overview of how Redmine actually works if you never played around with Redmine before. So let's get started. All right, first thing pretty much you want to do is sign in. I have my admin account already. So real quick overview. Um, we have our users. There's going to be another video regarding cre user creations and the rows and groups. But today we're just going to be the basics of creating a project. I have one project here already that I've been testing with, but let's go ahead and get started with our first project. All right, so let's go ahead and create a new project. We'll click the new project button. Let's name this project. We're going to call this creating that's I spell that right creating a red mine YouTube video all right and the description making a red red mine video for our channel. Now once you have that done we can change the identifier. This is pretty much the URL of the project so you could change it you could leave it how the default or make it easier to read up to you guys but I'm gonna leave it how it is at the moment and home page this is the name of your project homepage within the wiki. We'll show you, we'll go over the wiki in a bit. So I'm just gonna call this Red Mine YouTube Video Project. All right, once you see the public right here, if it's checked, that means anyone could see it. So when you create a project, and there's no permissions and you don't mind other team members seeing it you can leave the project checked if it's unchecked they'll have to have permissions to see it so the permissions controlled in the administration section of it but for this demonstration we're just going to leave it public we have no sub project and inherit members what inherit members is if you have a sub project and you want that sub project to inherit all the members currently in this project's permission over to that sub project. But since we don't have any sub project, I'll leave that blank. And the modules here. These are all the modules that can be accessed or we want to have. Issue tracking. That's pretty much where we're going to create the issues if this project has any an example of the issue if somebody says that they can't find a good thumbnail picture so they'll put that as the issue and they'll assign that issue for somebody to create it or actually try to fix that ticket and all these stuff will go over in deeper on other videos but right now we're going to leave everything default and I'll show you what each one is shortly so once we have that let's go ahead and create this project and the project has been su successfully created here now let's go over to the overview tab of the project so here is the overview page here you get get a quick look-see of what the project is. Currently there's no bugs or any kind of feature or any kind of support. Actually there's no issue tracking right now because it's brand new and no issue has been 
created for it yet. Also, there, if there's a member assigned to this, you would see the member's name. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and add a member here. The way we add members is going to settings, members, new member, and these are ne uh, users that I have already created. We'll go over these users in a later video to go more in depth, but it's pretty straightforward when you create the user. So let's go ahead and assign some members. Let's put Paul Smith as a manager for this project and add him in there. Let's go ahead and get our developer. Let's go assign Scott Miller. And we could add more roles into Redmine. So if, for example, if you want a role that says technical support or vice president or whatever roles is in here, we could add that in here. Click on add. So we have Paul as a manager, and Scott Miller as a developer. All right, let's go back to the overview page. Now you see the members within this project. So Paul Smith and Scott Miller. Now let's quickly go over to the wiki page. This is our wiki page for this project. What's a good thing about this is if a new member comes halfway through the project, they could go back to the wiki page and see all the notes that has been taken about the project so they could catch up um, on what they missed. Or if anybody wants to go back into the project and go back into what's been done, they could go back to this wiki. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and create a quick wiki page. Let's do uh, Redmine YouTube YouTube video. Create a video. Go step one, two, edit video. Three, create thumb, create thumbnail for video. All right, so this quick, quick wiki page over here, we could add comments to it. And here is a real cool thing that we could add. Uh, choosing files we could add files to it here's an example so we could choose a file redmine let's go let's do with let's do redmine png <coughs> so that's that file is uploaded and we could also add that into the wiki so for example you could say let's use this redmine png as your thumbnail Use the current attach file as your thumbnail idea. Idea. And we could actually add the picture in here too by using this button here image. And what you have to do is type in redmine.png, which is the name of the file. You have to write the extension also in between these two exclamation marks. <coughs> we quickly preview the page, and that's what happens when you put in the image tab. We'll go over a full video on how to customize your wiki page as well. So since that's done, let's go ahead and save. Now the wiki page is ready, so let's go ahead and create our first issue. Because since there's no issues yet, 
let's go and create one. So the tracker right now by default you have bugs, feature, and support. You could add more trackers if you want. Um, right now we could, example would be a change tracker. You could add that. So right now we're just gonna use feature. Let's see. Let's we can name this. We'll have the developer add the new thumbnail. Add attach thumbnail. Add attach nail from wiki to here. Edit. So this kind of explains to the person that's going to take this issue. Status is new, priority, up, leave it to normal. And here we get assigned our uh, text or developers, whoever you want. So we remember Scott Miller is the developer. Also, we, we would want Paul Smith to watch over it to and also Scott Miller so what it is when you are a watcher when things are changed or updated they will get notification that the project has been changed there's currently no parent task and the start date you want the project to start on let's say <coughs> the 15th and the due date is by Friday the 19th and we can estimate it's gonna take about 16 hours to get the whole project done alright let's go ahead and create the task or the issue now as you can see the assignee is Scott Miller and all the information about this task is here this shows estimate time is 16 hours now let's go over and look at the Gantt chart of this project. Now you see it shows the Gantt chart here with our project. You can zoom in also, make it clear. But it shows on our calendar. Now let's go ahead and edit our task. Let's just say I'm Paul. I logged in. I've I've done some stuff. Let's go to the issue, and here is our task. I'm sorry, Scott Miller. I keep forgetting that. But let's go ahead. I'm Scott Miller. I know I've done some stuff. Let's go to edit. Let's say I spent about eight hours on it already so that's about 50 percent comment downloaded file I just put some kind of issue file was too small need a bigger size All right, and here you could choose a file as well, and you could attach something here. I have attached a new file that I think work works better. Please approve. Okay. Click submit. Log time is invalid. Oop, log time is invalid. Oh, sorry, I forgot to. Uh, it's in development. It's in design right now. And click submit. There you go. And as you see, the overview of this task that 50% is done, spent time. Also, the history of what's been 
done on this project. As you can see how good Redmine can help a company with their project management lifecycle. And this could be used in very different forms in web development, app development, it could be a it could be a help desk ticket uh, system as well. Let's go over to the Gantt chart. As you can see, 50% is done. And let's go to the calendar. Here's is the calendar for this month as well and the project. So there you go. That's a quick overview of how to create your first project in Redmine. This is a very basic overview. We'll be going in depth into different projects, different tabs, different documents, and wikis in later videos, as well as going over with permissions and groups. So stay tuned, make sure to subscribe. If you enjoy this video, thanks again for watching.